sometimes you just make some mistakes. And now I'll know I'll never to. Good morning. I'm recording from a new camera. Here's my old camera. I cracked it when I dropped it in Canada a few weeks ago and then I just put tape over it. And then the other one, which I have also dropped, the screen is jacked up and also when you close it, it doesn't close all the way. You know, I'm literally vlogging all day every day and I got a lot of views out of it so I don't feel that guilty. And we just kind of keep them as backups just in case. Today I am back working on it's Judy time. I'm gonna edit the Milani Conceal and Perfect one. Did you guys have fun with Auntie Mel? Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. To the movies? Angry Bird? Oh. They went and saw Angry Birds with Auntie okay. Mel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so how do you ask politely? Please. Okay, then you don't put your spoon inside, okay? There you go. Look at this girl, straight up throwing her food. No, no, you're on timeout. Turn around. Think about what you just did. I saw her, she picked it up, and she was ready to throw it. I said, no. She straight up threw it. With me watching her. Crazy girl. Throw it in the garbage. Thank you. Here, mommy. someone's still in a bad mood. Make us some leftovers, delicious leftovers. This girl ran errands with me. I didn't have my vlog camera, but so cute. Cute, but also acting like a little baby. So what happened is she had this beautiful PIC and I F-O-L-D-E-D'd it. And she wasn't having it. And then she, she went all emo on me. Did you go all emo on me? Don't make me tickle you with my feet, my feet. Sometimes you just make some mistakes, and now I'll know I'll never to hold my pictures. <laughs> About to make some lunch. Juliana just got back from the YMCA, and she drew me a very beautiful picture. You I guys want to see? You should put the other picture in your in in your wall. You want to tell us about it? Because uh, the stomach color the yellow, pink, brown, and. Yeah, and this is a perfect place to display it. I suggested putting it up here, but Juliana said this is a great spot. So I love it. I don't want to put the. You can put the other one right here. High five. It's fabulous. Again. Ooh, so delicious looking. Somebody's taking their sweet little time to join me. Da, da, da. This is one of my absolute favorite leftover dishes. Daddy, turn it one for me, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Good. I Good. made sure it's nice and cool for you. Go ahead, try it. I make you dawn at night. And then for breakfast or lunch the next day, I make this dish, which is similar to gyudon. I just prepared a little differently with the egg. Secretly, see. Now the curry. Is it common curry? Yeah, but it's similar. Tell me, does it deserve a thumbs up? Pizza. the Milani foundation so if you want to see that I'll have a link down below I'm surprised by how affordable it is it's only ten dollars at the drugstore but there's um, one main reason why I don't like it for myself <sighs> anyways I'm just thinking of the next few weeks which 
I don't even know what's going on in our calendar. Benji's going to be leaving for Vegas here soon to be working on video influencers. I think our next big trip is California for VidCon. Are any of you guys going? Every time I go, I don't spend that much time in VidCon because well, for one, it's so crowded and it kind of gives me anxiety. And then also, I feel like it's not really my target audience because most people that go there are for like the singers, for the comedians, and the beauty community is not that big over there. About to have some coffee at 4.30 in the evening. I know. The old Judy would be like, are you kidding me? That's so late. But I had coffee around this time last night or yesterday. And I still went to bed before 11 because I'm so exhausted. I'm pretty sure most moms are like this, but when you are tired and you're taking care of three toddlers, you you get just so short-tempered and you're just not thinking straight. So coffee is a good thing for all of us. So for dinner, we're going to do hoisin chicken steam buns. This looks so good. I love chicken. The bread kind of reminds me of Chopal. And apparently this will take under half an hour to cook slash oh snap where are the buns oh here they are okay but first i gotta get the girls they're just waking up from their nap i already know what's gonna happen kira's gonna play with her shopkins juliana's probably gonna want to color in her shopkins book and mia what would mia do mia <laughs> Mia will either one taunt Kira and throw her shopkins around, that's like her new thing to do, or play with the Disney princess dolls. Let's see. What I say? Oh, I forgot to mention, of course, Mia in her car. JB in her shopkins. <laughs> This is delish. So good. The girls are having so much fun with their friend Zach. It's a fun dynamic having another boy in the house. <laughs> no, you stay over here. Mia's turn. Upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> you want to play upstairs? No, it's okay, just leave them down here. Okay. You to have to focus. Well, hey, before you guys go upstairs, you better clean up your mess. Last night, we didn't clean up our mess. Benji's playing with Mia and Kira down by himself. your breath Mommy. let me smell your breath oh my goodness wow it smells so clean <laughs> said Simba it needs no worries for the rest of your days it's our problem free I see the kids didn't clean up after themselves. Remember I said before you bring them upstairs, make sure they clean up. Before, before you guys you go guys upstairs, upstairs, you better you clean, better up, clean up, up your mess. Jeez yeah. Louise girls. Or shall I say daddy. Anyway, thanks for putting them down. I think I like your hair like that. It's like 80s style. Mm -hmm. High ponytail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is just like my house hair. I would never wear this out. <laughs> See, this lens is dirty. This is an old camera, and there's kind of a glare on this lens. I end up cleaning it because, quite frankly, it gives me a headache when I see a messy living room. And I'm like, if I want to hang out here, it has to be clean. <laughs> Anyways, um, I thought I would do some more of that Snapchat Q&A. And there were some... Um, chats that I didn't open yet. How did you know that we were made for each other? How did you know you loved me? Number one, because you were somebody that 
was my best friend of the opposite sex. <laughs> Two, you're seriously the most kindest, sweetest person I've ever met ever. And third, not necessarily that we are made for each other, but that you're the woman for me. You're super hot. <laughs> You know what, Benji and I have been friends forever and he is the only guy in my life that has done so many sweet things for me without expecting anything in return. Seriously. Like, like one of the sweetest things he's done for me was surprising me with the Nutcracker tickets. And it was, I remember mentioning it to him vaguely one day. Like, he, Benji takes notes, mental notes. And I was like, wow, I've never been to the Nutcracker. I think we were driving in the car and I just saw a billboard. We were just friends. And that winter, he brought me to the Nutcracker. He arranged it with my cousin at the Jazz, and it was like the best surprise ever. He, it's not like he was trying to get in my pants. I mean, he had a girlfriend at the time, and I was like, I was like dating this guy, but these are pretty fun. Uh... I was wondering if you were going to visit the Bay Area anytime soon. Ooh, Bay Area. No, we don't have any plans on visiting Bay Area. But we're going to LA. <laughs> okay, we'll do another one. Hi, Judy. Hi, Benji. Just wondering if you're ever going to take a little vacation to Chicago. It's really family friendly and I think you guys <laughs> would love it. Oh, she even did a thumbs up. Chicago. We honestly have not even thought about that. Well, okay, so family vacation we're doing, we're doing LA, and then we usually do an annual trip to Hawaii. Like it's just our thing, our our whole family. Um, but we haven't thought of Chicago yet, and I know like Chicago has some of the best foods there, right? Chicago style pizza is that like the thick pizza? Oh yeah. Oh, that deep dish pizza. Yeah, you know, I'm not very familiar with Chicago, to be honest. I lived in Waikigan for like three years when I was a kid because my father was military. I don't even know if they still have a Navy base over there, but I remember like harsh winters. The snow was like up to here. Um, but that's all I know of Chicago. I know I vaguely remember Chi Town. Follow me on Snapchat. It's Mommy's Life. Follow Benji, Benji Man TV. We're gonna wrap up today. Benji, it's like early enough that Benji and I might even be able to watch a movie. Yeah, that's what he does. Very sexy. I'm quite lucky. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. What did Nong Jasmine get you guys? You don't want a surprise? One, two, three! Oh my god! It's a poop thing, y'all! Oh my god, it poops! And then it eats the poop again! <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at it! You really have to do it, guys! You do it, right? But then the food comes out whole, so then you eat it again. Oh my god! I want it. I was like, oh, I have to So that's Chewy 2.0 then. <laughs> it's the same brand. You have to put the leash on to have it work. No. I don't even see an One, off two, on. Yeah. And then yeah. put here. Put okay. Two. Where's the button though? Or just works automatically? Mommy, I'm going to use the mommy. Be patient. Wait, he's here, going to poop soon. See what, see what he does. This is no. his food. No, no, no. You don't eat it. Are you sure he's alive? Wait, I don't know. He's gonna poo right away. When does he poo? I don't know. Oh, are you giving him a water?